19, an exercise in excess. Um, so here's the first skull. We, uh, I've already killed everything here and saved the game to make it a little easier. We, uh, after we run up here, we, uh, stay st hugging the wall, strafing to get to the other side, and then we jump across. Hasp. That door opens up. And that leads you to the first skull, some assault rifle ammo, a rocket launcher, set of rockets, and a crossbow quiver. And of course, to get back out, gasp, that switch opens up this door, which didn't open before. And that is the first skull in level 19, an exercise in excess. Second skull in level 19, exercise in excess. You see this structure right here? Again, looks like a lot of these creatures were killed by the, our bobs and also by the battling aliens battling each other because there's both before there's both four and occur battling each other anyways get up here on the left side of uh, this panel opens up Hashuk. to a lift could you want to shoot pass through that waterfall you get to the second skull a couple fusion batteries a crossbow quiver and a set of shells for your fusion mortar Third skull in level 19, exercise in excess. We go up these stairs. And this is to get to a part we've already been. Open up the door with the built-in fans. Then we go over on this edge. We jump to this uh, rock formation. Jump from there to another rock formation. Jump to yet another rock formation. And we get the third skull, some Imperial 58 magazines, and some fusion batteries. All right, fourth skull in uh, level 19, exercise in excess. Let's see, we've uh, climbed up here. Once you get here, we've killed everything to make it a little easier. We climb up, go around, and we uh, strafe run over here to get on top of this little ledge, which allows us to go up here to get the uh, fourth skull and an invincibility power up. Now. We could use this to fight off some baddies, but I think I'm going to use it to try to make it a little bit easier to get to your, uh, the, uh, fifth skull. Rocket jumps. We would not be able to get away with that if we did not have this invulnerability shield. And we get to up here, the, uh, bars are passable through uh, one part and you can get fifth skull end cannon fuel tank rockets assault rifle ammo there might have been something else that i've forgotten and that's the coolest part about this now another thing is uh to get that rocket launcher you would have had to have found it in one of the previous bonus levels but hey that's another cool perk with finding all the secrets eh and that is the 4th and 5th Skulls in level 19, Exercise in Excess. Alright, to uh, level to level 19 and Exercise in Excess. I almost lost count of the order there. Well, we're going to get to that 6th and final Skull. But first, uh, if you did not have a rocket launcher or if you wanted to use up that invincibility power-up to use, to use it on fighting bad guys instead... To get to that fifth skull that I pointed out, you can still jump over. There's a more complicated way to climb around and jump up to that, to the lower part of that windowsill, although you'll still have to grenade hop to the upper part. Anyways, uh, in case you didn't follow that, we uh, go up these stairs. We uh, then strafe run out to get out on top of these uh, rocky areas. And then we'll navigate our way around some more, and then up there... Once again, grenade hopping is required. Hmm. I better get that other double shield can first if I'm going to try another attempt at this. Or better yet, if the grenades didn't work, you can use your fusion mortar. And that might get you up there. And that door opens. Hasp. You will get more fusion mortar rounds. 
And since uh, we used up two of them to get up here, let's finish those off. Did some triple purple shields, and the sixth and final skull. And that is all six skulls for level 19 exercise in excess. All right, level 20, Tantiv IV, which is really just Tantiv 4 with the 4 spelled out as a Roman numeral, but I'm just going to call it that to uh, differentiate between it and, say, an Arabic numeral. Anyways, uh, we began the level around here, but we go out here to get to the first skull, open up this door, and you ride up this broken lift and then strafe run up here to this platform, then jump up on top of the this uh, circuit board, strafe run towards the wall to get up to these stairs, and you can uh, run the jump across here to this other tunnel. You get the first skull and some fusion mortar ammo and a constant recharging biobus enhancement. Uh, second skull in a level 20 Tantive IV. Go up this lift here. And you can open up this Hashuk. You get an invincibility power up and your second skull. Okay, the uh, third skull in level 20, Tantive IV, which is really Tantive 4 with the 4 spelled out as a Roman numeral. Anyways, uh, we've uh, gotten up, up to here. You can activate this lift so you can get back up here. That's not how to get to the skull. Past this area, you can go into this corner here. Does one of these panels look like it's a slightly different color? Hashuk. Yep. Triple purple shields, rocket launcher ammo, and your third skull. And you can jump down here. And there is a pattern buffer to save the game. A terminal you can read for your own amusement. And this door that you couldn't open before, that's how you open it, and that's how you get back out to the rest of the level. Fourth and final skull in level 20, Tantive IV. Let's see, we go around here, take this lift up, and we go across this uh, bridge over here, and we can go uh, from here, you can go here, or you can go here. We want to take this way, and we want to jump up on top of here. This light panel opens up, Hashuk, revealing triple purple shields, rocket launcher round, your fourth and final skull, and some assault rifle ammo. And that is all four skulls for level 20, Tantive IV. Level 21, False Dichotomy. A new level, sort of a filler level, with no combat, in uh, the new version of Phoenix. The music is... Uh, a Kevin McLeod track called uh, "Basement Floor," I think. That that's one of the Kevin the new Kevin McLeod tracks that I left in the game. And your uh, the skull, the one and only skull, can be found uh, once you get up these stairs. You find the terminal where uh, your uh, where Director Harrison's having trouble getting in contact with you, but jump down here. This panel opens up, Hashuk, revealing fusion mortar ammo, the one and only skull, and a triple purple shield recharger. Just in case you didn't recharge all the way, getting one of the triple purple shield cans in the previous level secrets. And that is the one and only skull in level 21, false dichotomy. Level 22, Sanctum Sanctorum. Almost sounds like the sanctum for that dreadful former senator, hey? Anyways, uh, we get uh, up here, we find a terminal, we can uh, get up these stairs to get to the first skull. And one of these, some part of this wall opens up. Hashuk! Revealing a lift that allows you to go up here to find the first skull. Some Imperial 58 magazines and a double yellow shield recharger, but we're already past the double limit. In fact, we've even got some triple purple up here so we can't use this at the moment we can't use this shield recharger at the moment but it's there if we need it sometime in the future for this level and that is the first skull All right second skull in level 22 sanctum sanctorum aka sanctum frothy mixture well i should probably stop with the political jokes before i piss somebody off anyways uh 
if you know where this area is, where there's that little pool of water that gets you back to around the beginning of the level in this pattern buffer, and another terminal you can read, you go up to this column here, you see a light panel and a steel beam under it, or a blue beam. Hashuk! You get your uh, second skull and a constant recharging biobus enhancement. Right. Level 22, Sanctum Sanctorum. We go up these stairs to get to the uh, third skull, and it will be, uh, you see this structure, there's an enforcer living in it, which we took out already. Check out these two circuit board panels, but one of them has scrolling lights around it. The other one, the lights stay still, try to open it. Baba badge! Baba badge! Baba badge! It makes the cannot open alien door sound, so we know somewhere around here there's got to be a switch to open that up. Go all the way here to where this uh, single shield recharger is. Uh, look carefully between these smaller circuit boards. One of them seems a little bit darker than the rest of them. Hashuk! Revealing a secret switch. Open it and run. I'm doing some strafe running because it's a little faster than regular running to get in here before that door closes because it's a crushing door. You don't want to get caught up in that. Anyways, there's a fusion mortar gun. Some fusion mortar ammo and your third skull out of four. And to get out, just push this switch right here and you can leave the structure. And of course, if you want to go back in to collect some of that fusion mortar ammo, you can always go back there and push that switch again. And that is the uh, third skull in level 22 Sanctum Sanctorum. Fourth and final skull in level 22 Sanctum Sanctorum. We get down here to where there's this... Uh, Karma slash Phoenix logo. And we go down the aisle. We've already killed everything. Look at the uh, light panels in these columns. One of them looks a little bit dirty. It opens up. Hashuk! Revealing the fourth and final skull and some rocket launcher ammo. And that is all four skulls for level 22 Sanctum Sanctorum. Level 23. Dark Forces, spelled P-F-H-O-R-C-E-S. This is another new level to the uh, new version of Phoenix. Yep, and you're hearing the level music Carbon by Tommy T-Bone, a.k.a. Thomas Livingston again, which I pulled from Marathon Eternal's new version, and replaced uh, Kevin MacLeod's The Way Out with... This is the last level where you hear it, by the way. We go into here after uh, we killed most of these things, and look closely at these two pillars at the entrance, if you turn back around. One of them has glyphs on it. There's a hidden switch. Revealing the first skull and some crossbow ammo. Okay, for the second skull in level 23, Dark Forces. And you gotta get to the second skull to get to the third skull, at least earlier in the level. Due to a bug in the level, there's a, a way to get to that third skull sometime later in the level. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to get there earlier. See, uh, that switch is something you gotta open up to get to another part of the level, but we'll hold off on that for a bit. You wanna just, uh, you gotta be careful about this because you could fall to your death if you don't do this properly. See that switch in the back of this column? That opens up uh, this little panel to another switch right here. And I'll show you what that does in a bit, but we jump over here. That comes down, you get second skull and some end cannon fuel tanks. Now, you gotta get to that second skull, and I'll show you why. See these two panels? That switch will open up this one, which will open up this one to get to the third skull. However, at some point later in the level you can hit the action key on this one and that third skull will open up, but it doesn't work earlier in the level for some reason. I think it's after you've activated a certain number of switches, but anyways, we'll show you how to do this. Get your uh, fusion cannon. Let's uh, do one blast to make sure. Okay. Okay, you gotta be quick about that. And you open it up, you get a yellow double shield recharger and your third skull. A fourth skull in level 23, Dark Forces. 
That switch that we didn't push earlier opens up the doors to get to this part of the level. Again, I've killed everything already to make it a little bit easier to get to the secret. But look at these two cubby holes. There's computer circuit boards in the center of each one, but look at this one. It, it, that circuit board cuts off at the top. Hashuck! That opens up to a secret switch. Lowering that column to get to the fourth skull, an assault rifle magazine, and another end cannon fuel tank. Now the fifth and final skull in level 23, Dark Forces. This is uh, where we got the fourth skull. To get to the fifth and final skull, we open up this door and get to this lift. This is where we gotta go to exit the level, but you can jump out over this windowsill and it goes over here to this little edge that you couldn't otherwise get to, but this wall is transparent and you get the, four, the, the fifth and final skull as well as uh, some uh, mortar shells, some fusion mortar shells for your fusion mortar. And that is all five skulls for level 23, Dark Forces. Level 24, Red Eye Express. You start the level uh, in this room over here. It's a bunch of ammunition, but uh, check out these columns. One of them opens up. Hashuk, revealing a secret switch. Hashuk. And that opens up to this room where you get your first skull some rocket launcher rounds and some fusion mortar shells as well as some end cannon fuel tanks. Second skull in uh, Red Eye Express. Um, this is after we've gotten out of that first area we go up these little skinny stairs. Uh, we already took out the cyborg and all the other enemies in the area to make it a little easier but look carefully out this window. You can see the hint of a switch. Let's use our... oops hit the wrong button. Let's use our zoom and zero in on that with the fusion cannon. We've opened up this door right here. We get we got our second skull, some fusion batteries, and a purple triple shield recharger. Now, you can open this door again and again and again with your fusion cannon if you want to get back there and recharge your health to purple levels again. So, you can go back to that secret anytime, but you get the skull the first time, obviously. And that is the second skull in Red Eye Express. Oh, in uh, level 24, Red Eye Express. I think it's level 24. I'll have to check that again. But anyways, uh, there's two areas like this where we gotta go in, where we flip a big green switch to open the door. This is the one on the left side. You can hear the sound of chatting fighters, or they could be troopers, but in this case they're really fighters. They will come out of the secret when you open it, but we want to jump into this uh, pit of uh, hot goo, which I think is coolant, and then swim out. But be aware that a whole bunch of fighters are going to come out. And anyways, that's this is the door that that switch opens up. You get some fusion mortar rounds, and... The third skull out of six. All right, the uh, fourth skull in uh, Red Eye Express. We're in the same area that we were to get the uh, third skull. We go into here and look carefully at these uh, two red columns. One of them will open up. Hashuk! Revealing the fourth skull, a rocket launcher rocket, and a fusion mortar shell. And that is your fourth skull. Okay, the, uh, fifth skull. Now, like I said, there were two areas with doors like this opened by a big green switch. This is the other one, the one on the right-hand side. We've killed everything to make it a little bit easier, and, uh, the, the fifth skull is inside of this, uh, goo or, uh, coolant tube. Hashuk! It opens up, revealing the fifth skull and some fusion mortar shells. That is your fifth skull. The uh, sixth and final skull in level 24, Red Eye Express. This uh, room is sort of like a mirror image of the other one, but not quite. We open up this door and we find, uh, of course, like the other one, the secret will be hidden in one of the two red columns. Hashuk! We get the uh, 
sixth and final skull and an invincibility power up, which I'm I'm gonna try to avoid picking that one up because it might be useful a little bit later, but we'll see if it's possible to do that. Looks like we got the skull, and we're saving that power up for later, and that is all six skulls for level 24, Red Eye Express. Level 25, the face of modern gaming. This level was in the original Marathon Phoenix, except for the music has now been changed to uh, Kevin McLeod's Long Time Coming, which is one of the Kevin McLeod tracks I left in the game. Anyways, uh, we opened up this door, and we get to the first skull, I think. See this little light panel here on this uh, little tower? You can pass through it, and you can get the first skull out of four, and some ammo. Unfortunately, I can't really peer down in there to see what the ammo is. Oop, gotta take out these guys first. And that is the uh, first skull. Second skull in level 25, the face of modern gaming. If you go up here, you'll notice that the herringbone pattern on, on the wall looks a little bit different there. Again, that's one you can walk through and you get purple triple shields, the second skull, and some rocket launcher rockets. And that is the, uh, Whoa. That is the second skull. Third skull in level 25, the face of modern gaming. See, we go in here where there's this pattern buffer and uh, we run across this bridge and get down here to this level and strafe run and try to get onto this little ledge right here and we get the third skull, some fusion mortar shells, an end can fuel tank, and a crossbow round. And that is the third skull. Fourth and final skull in level 25, the face of modern gaming. Let's see, we want to take these skinny stairs up here. We go across here. And inside of here, the light panel facing closest towards where you started the level has the fourth and final skull, and a constant recharging Biobus Enhancement. And that is all four skulls for level 25, the face of modern gaming. And I think I will uh, conclude this particular compilation of Marathon Phoenix skulls. And uh, I think uh, the last compilation will take up the rest of the levels. So uh, thanks for watching and enjoy!